Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, Next Weather Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera joins us one more. So inside a skating, an ice skating rink uh, would oh, be a good place to be the next be couple nice. days. <laughs> Absolutely. On the ice, you want to lay flat, uh, lie flat over <laughs> the next few days on it. This is, this is uh, the kind of heat that, that we worry about because we're not used to it yet. And so the first heat wave is always the most dangerous one because our bodies aren't used to it. And we're talking temperatures well into the 90s. I mean, Orlando's been in the triple digits for uh, today. That is a heat a stress, heat exhaustion, heat stroke kind of a level here. If you are outside for an extended period and you don't take care of yourself, hydrate and get into some shade and breaks. 87 was the high temperature for today. These are not the numbers we're talking about that would cause that. It's what's coming beginning really tomorrow, but peaking as we head into Friday and into Saturday. I think those are the days where we're going to have actual air temperatures running about 10 degrees above what you're seeing there, except for Fort Lauderdale, which is still at 88, not expecting near 100 degree weather, but expecting feels like temperatures near 100 uh, later on this week. There we are sitting at 94 with the humidity and the shade and homestead at 90 and a little bit better in Miami right now, but it's the heat dome that still expands and continues to drive our pattern the next few days. If you notice today already under the influence of that, not much of the way of cloud cover upstairs, so that sinking air is going to continue to provide us with not much shade. The clouds aren't going to be able to help us out, and of course, we're not looking for anything in the form of rainfall here as the temperatures really start skyrocketing up into the mid 90s and we'll have Friday, Saturday, a little bit less, you know, hot on a Sunday with temperatures at 91. Problem is because the humidity even on Sunday is still going to be hot for Mother's Day. We're still looking at the potential for heat indices into the upper 90s. So that's the setup going forward here. Not uh, raining anytime soon here. I think the best shot of seeing some wet weather will be on a Saturday where we'll have this front that comes through, but it is not going to be looking at a lot of moisture with it. And so a few afternoon showers and storms coverage still down to 30 percent. And I've lowered it even more for Mother's Day. I just don't think we're going to have much. So it's going to be hot and dry. Mom's Day coming up for Sunday. Extreme UV index. No question there. Rib current still on the moderate side with a southeast wind and a caution there for the Atlantic waters with winds 15 to 20 knots. Same deal for the Florida Keys. Let's check the forecast in for uh, tomorrow. We'll wake up already with temperatures feeling like they're in the mid 80s and then we just climb steadily. I think we'll hit about 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. That'll make it feel like about 95 and again the next rain chance coming up this weekend 30 percent and then Sunday for a Mother's Day we're looking good with temperatures in the low 90s a bit cooler with higher rain chances certainly by the time we get into early next week.